Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is so terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor possibly to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concerns for the strengths of the other, as well as the plots, the dynamics of this fixture, all thrown in to a fascinating mix. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutral... And the shots! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Schlotterbeck. That's Fitz. And it's Muller. Gundogan. Henriks. Moved on forwards. Clearly not happy with that. Germany making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. Well, there's the clearance. Henriks. It's gone out for a throw in. The normal. It's Pedri. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Fiddles it through. done very well to get to that. Morata sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Germany going wide a lot more often now, Jim. Yeah, they're looking to create space in and around that D by, by stretching the defence. Look out for a, a late arrival or two from midfield. Now, who's going to be first to this? Henriks made a surge from full-back as it turned out unsuccessfully. And it's played forward. The fullback is in acres of space here. That's very neat. Merino. Oh, that's neat. an excellent interception. Merino. Oh, that is a good ball to find him. Out to the right. We hit half time. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless. How would you review the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. Well, the action has already resumed here. Spain playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And that is played back to front. And it's Sané. Now it's Gundogan. And he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Será reemplazado por el Barça 11. 
and he's there to get it away. Sane. Now, has he got the beating of his marker here? They've managed to get it away. Now then, the ball's come loose. Ferran Torres gets away from his opponent. Ball swung in, knocks it away. Good spot, he's seen the run. And it's Gundawan. Sade. Played out towards the right wing. It's a chance for Spain to break. Now it's Morata. Now it's Ferran Torres. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Out for a throw. Germany can make their change now with uh, a break in play. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Hits one! It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Germany making consecutive changes here. Sends it forward. Now it's Morata. Morata is flagged offside. This has been a better game than the scoreline suggests, and it really does merit a goal. Now it's Havertz, just eases him off the ball. Germany showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Well, well played, that has snuffed out the danger. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Rudiger. Look, there has to be more urgency here. The ball has to get to the other end much faster. Into stoppage time, and it is still nil-nil. The final whistle and confirmation we are headed for penalties. Well, both managers would have preferred not to go this far, but here we are. It's about nerve control now. So we brace ourselves for the nerve-shredding ordeal that is penalties. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. And he's found the net. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Cooley done, what each. He just did what he was asked. So, the second man in line. Oh, calm as you like. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Sane is the second man to step up for his team. No, he's hit it right at the goalkeeper. Oh, I suspect a change of mind could have been the problem then. And that doubles their lead. Germany can't afford to miss another one. Oh, he 
he took a risk, but it's paid off. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Spain with the chance to go two up. And they're two up. Germany must score here to stay in it. It's there, and the fight goes on. Ah, oh, the keeper's guessed right, but couldn't keep it out. So can he do it?